Okay, this is hole 10. This is about 360 feet from where we are. Uh, you can see that the hill goes over and it drops straight down. Um, there are some, there are a couple patches of like thick grass, kind of like we saw in the old hole, the, the hole over here, seven, I think. So as it goes over the hill, it drops down and then it hits that wall of trees behind it. And that's exactly where the basket is. So since it's downhill, you need something kind of slower and glidier, I think. So I'm probably uh, going to try and go with a mid on this one. So we'll see what happens. Okay, let's try a hex. Just going to try and keep it low and just over the, over the grass. And I didn't do that at all. All right, well, let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, God dang it. Man. Can't make my way under par and stay there. All right, hole 11. Uh, this is a par three, 228 in the A position. I am at the, the long pad here. So this goes straight out, this long grass goes straight out, and then the basket is at the very point of it. So uh, you could go hyzer on the outside, straight at it with something, you know, kind of dead straight, but it is uphill. So things are gonna play a little more overstable. Okay, I'm gonna take the outside hyzer route with a Tesla. Try to avoid this grass on the left. God, they really need to mow this stuff down. Like, it is really hard. I've seen so many people out here looking for discs. Well, I got left quick, and I don't know that I got all the way there. We'll see. Okay. It's not easy playing from the, the longs blind here. Ah, let's see how this goes. I'm outside the circle. Oh, for God's sake, finally. <laughs> now let's stay under par. Hole 12, par three, 269 feet. As you can see, I'm looking through a couple of trees here. Basket is dead straight ahead. So you got a lot of room for, you know, a forehand or a backhand with a slight turn to it. Lefty backhand, it's all right there. I think you know what I'm gonna do though. Okay, got old gnarly. It's a little uphill, so you gotta put a little more juice on it, give it some room to work. All right, looks like I'm inside the circle. All right, inside the circle for sure. Okay, this is hole 13, it is a par three. Um, let's see, 462, I believe, is where we're going to. Uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see on film. In fact, it's gonna be impossible to see, but the basket is kind of tucked down a hill and off to the left. So I'm thinking, punch something hard on the outside grass line and just let it fade towards the, the, the hill, I guess, so. Okay, got a Xena. Give it a little hyzer flip. That looked okay. That looked okay. Okay, there's a bunch of this garbage grass in between holes again. It takes a little while to find them. But, I don't know, I'm a little over 100 out, I think. So, we're gonna forehand a tempo and put it up there. There we go. Okay. That'll do. That's not so bad. Okay, hole 14, par three, 309 feet, where it is currently at, I believe. Um, so you can see we have a mowed out fairway, very skinny, and it is up on a hill. Um, we're not that much lower than it, it is slightly uphill. So it's kind of straight at it. Um, just do whatever the wind dictates, I guess. You have the hyzer, the forehand, the backhand, you name it, it's there. 
Okay. I'm gonna forehand old gnar or, uh, gnarly too, I guess. Proton gnarly. Uh, this resistor. 300 feet. That's about where I kind of hit my limit on these. So if I just give it some juice. Okay. Wow. I think that basket might be further back than the sign says. We'll take a look. All right, hole 15, here we go. So 272 feet, par three. Um, you can see the basket between those two bushes there. You have the backhand and the forehand uh, kind of at your disposal. You gotta get around the backside of those trees to keep yourself safe. And you don't wanna go across the, over the fence and into the road because that would suck, so. Okay, let's try a proton gnarly on a backhand. A little bit of hyzer, a little bit wide. Under the bucket. Let's go. Okay. Parks are good. Pipe down, puppy. Okay. This is hole 16. It is a par 3. It is 276. Kind of hard to see. You're not going to be able to pick too much up on video, but you can see the fairway that's mowed out. It goes down the hill, through the gully, there's the trees that kind of pinch off, and then the basket is down and to the right. So you really got to either go over the top and let it filter in, or you got to be able to cut in low to make your way through the trees. Okay, I'm going to try the over the top line. Let's see how this goes. I saw it fall back into the fairway down there, so I guess we'll okay. see. Need a little more juice on this uh, over the top line, but I'm outside the circle. A little bit of a straddle, Annie. We're on hole 17. This is par 3, 384. You can't really see it. I had to kind of snake my way around. The basket is over all of this stuff and on top of the hill. Now right now we've got headwind. So, I mean, you just got to smash something. You might be able to see the basket a little bit up and over to the left, but uh, this is a good, uh, this is a kind of a wild layout. So just smash something and deal with what you got. Okay. I've got a fission photon, which is, or fission octane, which is, I guess, being becoming more neutral. So if I throw this, the wind can kind of take it a little bit, and then it'll finish out. So I'm going to try to just go over the top of these and get to the end of all this stuff. Okay, it felt good. I just, I'm assuming it got over the top of everything. It should be in a little clear. <sighs> okay, wind kind of squashed me down. So, outside, circle two, jump putt. Not bad. All right, that'll do. Okay, finally, we have made it. Hole 18, par three, 286. You can see the basket down this little side fairway. There are two ways to get there. They left a little bit in the middle on mode, and there's a tree kind of guardian in the middle. Um, but I kind of like the, the righty forehand on a hyzer. Uh, if you're gonna go backhand, it's gonna be a much, much higher shot, higher and outside. So, um, 
I guess whatever it takes. It works for lefties or righties. There's a little bit of everything. Okay, I'm gonna forehand a Tesla. It's gotta come back a little bit faster. Then my resistor's off. Awesome. Okay, I guess we'll go check it out. Tesla found it over the, let's say over the tall grass. That's perfect. Okay, whew. Uh, just finished playing Torzewski, and um, so I really like it. It's got tons of potential, but man, does it need to be beaten in. Um, the wooded holes, for sure. They just feel like if they had a little bit of help and a little bit of time, they're going to be really good. Um, if I came back here, I would know better how to play things with this being kind of a, a, a like a blind play. The out the uh, uh, holes outside of the woods are really good too. I just I hate when they leave tall grass to kind of clean out a fairway. It just makes finding stuff really difficult. But uh, I would recommend getting here and playing this place, uh, please, because it needs to be beaten in. But secondarily to that, it is really a good course. Um, really enjoyed myself, and as I was walking off the course, they were putting in the permanent signs. So uh, they're really doing good work out here. Come check it out.